Hey guys, it's Natalie with Curated by Natalie and today I am spending the day doing reseller things, basically going to the Goodwill outlet as well as some buy sell trade stores like Buffalo Exchange and Pavement. I have the day off from my full time job so I'm excited to spend the day sourcing and bringing y'all along with me. All right, the bins were kind of a bust. It was really crowded in there, but I am gonna show y'all what all I got. I did get 13 pounds of items, which kind of is a lot. I spent $30 and I was there for a couple of hours. It was really crowded in there, which I kind of guessed considering it is a holiday and you know, a lot of people are off. A lot of people want to go thrifting just like I did. So here's what all I found. I did find some cool things, which I'm pretty excited about. So these pillow covers, they literally match the poof that I found to the T. I think they're the same brand. Um, so I found two of them. They're in really good condition. There was like one small mark of dirt, but I'm going to wash them regardless because I'm going to put them in my home. Um, but really great find it's just kind of cool that i found literally the same thing as the poof that i found two months ago at the bins like both of these were at the bins so weird it's just so weird so when it's crowded one thing that i do try to do is have a strategy when i'm thrifting and one of my strategies is to find the stuff with the pink tag because that's the stuff that goodwill marked up it's stuff that tends to be worth a little bit more but not worth what they marked it up like they marked these jeans to $15 I would not pay $15 for torrid jeans but for you know two dollars a pound that's a pretty good deal so these are the jeans they are a straight leg cut just pretty distressed and they're a size 16 regular the other thing that I always check with jeans is that there's no puckering here at the crotch and there is not it's in really good condition so excited to get these listed I've never actually sold torrid full-length jeans before then i found another pink tag item another pair of jeans these are from american eagle goodwill had them marked up to 9.99 they were new with tag um, but still ten dollars for american eagle jeans that's pretty steep these are a mom fit denim and they're a size four just a nice straight leg pair of jeans American Eagle does tend to sell for me. It does not sell for a ton, but it is a consistent seller, so I do pick it up at the bins. Right on trend with that American Eagle, I found not one, but two of the same sweaters. These are both from Aerie. So, weirdly enough, I found the exact same sweater. It's this charcoal v-neck knit. It kind of reminds me of Free People. I really like it. So one's a small and one's an extra small. They are identical. So it's going to make listing really easy too. Just, just a fun find. Like nothing crazy, but pretty good. Okay, next. Some cowboy boots. These are men's and they are genuine leather. I'm going to head to buy, sell trade stores next. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and take these in to buy, sell, trade stores because rodeo season is here and I've noticed that buy, sell, trade stores really like to up their cowboy boot game around rodeo season. So hopefully they buy these today and then I just get them off my hands. These are a brand that kind of has been meh for me recently, but I still want to pick it up. The other thing is, is I might just send a box to Thread Up soon. And I would love to throw a brand like this in because it would do really well on Thread Up. This is Bowden. They are some parrot, floral, funky tropical shorts. They're a size 12 and they're in really good condition. Nothing crazy. Bowden does take a while to sell for me. It used to sell really fast, but now it's taking a while. So like I said, I might like send all of my Bowdoin pieces into thread up because it seems to do much better on there. I got a personal pickup. These are some sweatpants. They are by the brand Lolly. I've never heard of it, but they are 95% cotton, 5% spandex. I'm trying to wear more natural fibers just to be, you know, a healthier hippie, whatever. I'm very granola, so <laughs> I like to wear like natural fibers and stuff, and these just look really comfy for lounging around in the house, so I hope they fit me. This was just a fun little skirt. So cute. It is by the brand 
prints so it's like a it's a true tennis skirt like this is actually like a tennis racket brand I just love this print I think it's really fun it's a size medium it might fit me so this might also be a personal piece but otherwise I would probably sell it in a story sell or take it to a buy sell trade store and then the last piece of the haul is this Princess Polly romper. Now, I am not like the hugest fan of Princess Polly, but I found the stock photo in literally one second. It seems like these are consistently selling at $25, $20 on Poshmark. I could probably sell it for around that on an Instagram story sale. So I think I'm going to get it because it'll be an easy item to list. Um, but otherwise, I would definitely take this piece into a buy sell trade store. But that is all for the bins. Usually the bins, I am walking out with like 25 plus pounds. So just 13 pounds. And honestly, a lot of weight was from those pillow covers. But I could not pass them up given that they match my poof to a T. So hopefully I have a lot of luck at buy sell trade stores. And I will show y'all what all I find there. And maybe a little bit more of a thrift with me if it's not too crowded. All right. It is a nice steamy 80 degrees in Houston in February. I am about to head it into pavement here and I have two huge bags to bring in. This is how much stuff I am taking. Normally I take a lot less than that. I typically take one big bag but since I don't live quite as close to pavement and Buffalo Exchange anymore I do try to do a little bit more in one haul. Um, so I'm gonna see how much I can get for that and then while I'm in there I do try to shop around a little so if I see anything fun I'll be sure to take some videos. less bag of old and stale inventory so I got about a hundred dollars of store credit I could have opted for about fifty nine dollars of cash um, but the store credit is just a better deal in my opinion I typically buy items that I can resell and here's what I got I got just three things so I got these vintage leather candies boots these are so cool and they resell so well they look like they resell for around 150 really excited to get these they do have a little bit of markings on them but it's really not that bad and I've gotten pretty good at cleaning up leather then I got this free people granny square bag really excited about this also had really good comparison pricing looking like a hundred ish dollars so excited about that and then the last thing I got is this gorgeous keepsake dress so here's the keepsake label I also filmed a little bit of content in there so I tried this beauty on and it is just stunning I'm excited to show y'all so a little bit of insight about pavement they do get excess anthropology and free people items now with that you do have to be really careful about not just seeing a good brand and picking it up immediately and thinking it's great um, because a lot of the times those pieces are there in excess because they have flaws so there was a BHL DN dress um, I think I might have said that wrong anyway you know what I mean literally seam rip so hard so you just got to be careful I've tried to always like get in the habit of taking items to the fitting room to really like check them out um, and stuff like that so now I'm gonna go run into common bond and get a little fuel because I am so 
wet team and I'm starving. All right, I've arrived at Buffalo Exchange. I am ready to take in the last bag of clothing and see what all I can get in exchange for it. So Buffalo Exchange was kind of a bust for a couple of reasons. First off, they only bought about four items off of me. I did get $50 in store credit. Um, and then once I got my store credit, I was excited to shop around and I had my camera on me so I could film in there. Now, they immediately came up to me and were like, you cannot film in here. I was like, okay, are you sure? Um, you know, is there maybe some management I can talk to? I've actually filmed for Buffalo Exchange in the past, filming a reel for them, and I actually got paid for my content. They brought me over to management, and management was like, no, like, you cannot film in here today. Absolutely not. And I thought that was kind of weird because I'd also emphasize that I don't film the people. I only film the products, right? It was a huge no. I actually had somebody following me around the store to make sure I wasn't filming um, with my phone as well. And I think there's more behind it to that because Buffalo Exchange does like their store to be shown. But I don't think they wanted this particular store to be shown because they were embarrassed. There was solely the fastest of fast fashion on the shelves and it was bare. So there was just Forever 21, H&M, Zara, and the racks were not full. I did see a couple of high-end pieces. Um, there was one pair of gold A jeans. They were priced at $50, which is pretty high um, considering you can maybe resell them for like 90. Um, and then one farm Rio dress, but the farm Rio dress had so many pools and it was also priced at $50. So I think they were just embarrassed by their store, which I get, but it just like made me feel weird the way that they hovered over me to make sure I wasn't showing anybody what their store looked like. So that's the tea on Buffalo Exchange today. I did buy one thing um, because I opted to do store credit because otherwise I would have gotten $24 in cash, which uh, I'd rather just have that credit to go spend it in Austin next time I go. But the one thing I did find was a Patagonia. It was $24.50, actually pretty reasonably priced. And it is a cinchilla, so it's a nice, you know, button front fleece. Pretty good find. Um, but all in all, today was kind of just a okay thrift day. It wasn't bad. I still obviously came away with some good items to resell, but it wasn't great. And whenever I have days like this, it always makes me realize like how much I like that my resale business is a side hustle because if I was to have a day like this and I was full time and I'd spent, you know, 12 hours out and about, you know, doing all these thrifting things, I would feel really defeated. But, you know, this was just a fun day. I just took it in stride. And, you know, this is just the reality of, of thrifting. Like, you are at the whim of whatever anybody donates or takes into buy-sell trade stores. So, that's it. That's it for my spiel and a day of thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. And I will hopefully have some more thrift content out for you soon. So be sure to subscribe and like this video. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye.